So I'm just going to do some work on my wife's car. Now this uh, passenger side window here doesn't go up and down. It used to. It stopped working a period of time ago now. And my wife's been asking me for a period of time again now to um, actually fix it. So I'm outside. It's currently sunny, which is great. And it's winter, but it's nice temperature because it's New Zealand, so it doesn't get that cold. Sorry about the sound. It's a bit blowy in this particular section of the video, so I'm just going to do a voiceover. I need to fix the motor control because obviously it's not winding the window up or down from the passenger side or on the driver's side. Neither side will work. So I'm going to take this apart and have a look and see what's actually in here. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a controller on here. There might just be a switch. I might have to go back to the driver's side and pull that side apart. I'm going to have to have a look and see what's actually in here. So we'll find out. Alright, let's pull it apart. Now I have actually opened this up before when I've been working on other things on this car. I just don't, don't remember what's in here. So let's just have a look. And uh, it's all kind of slides together and it's all like, this is an old car. It's, was it uh, mid 90s or something? It still runs fine, nothing wrong with the engine and stuff like that. It's all, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's a clip which I've got to kind of pull out. There we go. So, yeah, it's just a switch. Just a switch in there. So, okay. I suppose I can check the switch to see if that looks like it's working or not, can I? While I'm in here. But I believe it's, um, it's likely to be the, the relays in the other side. Now, how does this switch work? Let's have a look. Let's just test the terminals and see what uh, comes out of that. Five terminals in there. I need to figure out what, which ones are what. What they actually do. I'm guessing that some actually pass through. Because it could be a problem with the switch where it doesn't pass the voltage through to the control, the actual motor. So that's closed. It's closed unless I'm trying to do window up. Okay. Let's just leave it on that terminal for now. No difference. I want to try and determine which is the common and which one's normally closed. Just like that. Okay, let's try the other side. Okay. So I'm getting a connection between this one here and this one here, and I'll try and do window up. Alright, so those left two, or right two depending on your perspective, they're always on when the switch is in neutral position. So are those two on that side. So those are passing through. But it seems to be that way. Right, so those are oh, try and get it connected again. If I push down it disconnects. And if I go up it stays on. Goes off and I go down. So that's probably sending the voltage through to the motor, depending on the polarities there. So neutral are both passing straight through, which means the other control can control it. That's those two there. Should have brought clips, didn't I? Yeah. So that goes down, it joins those two together. Okay. I'll understand this shortly. Alright, so what I think it does, what is on the point there? I believe that is a common, those that pass through from the other switch. Alright, so those will go to the other switch unit on the other door, and this will get pulled up either to that one or that one, depending on whether you're going up or down. And of course, in the you know, other opposite direction, they're tied together, so it's probably a common negative coming through. Constantly, this is probably constantly tied to negative when it passes through. But when you push this up and down, it puts this one here, which is likely to be a positive, onto one or the other in order to drive the motor up and down. So that's what I believe will be happening. So what I need to do is power up the car and see if I get a positive supply on that pin on the plug. So let's do that. 
So yeah, I've got 14 volts on that pin, so I was right in my theory there. Great. Which means when you do that switch up and down, it should be driving the window up and down. 14 volts that way, 14 volts that way. So that should mean I've got earths in both ways. That should be working then. So it may not be a relay. Let's just plug this in. Hey look, it's now working. Hmm, could this be a bad connection maybe? It works now, I've played around with it. Isn't that interesting? Well, I guess I've explained how the thing works at least. That's something I suppose. Yeah. Right. Don't know. Well, it's working. So if I um, negative, negative. If I'm doing a pass through from the other side, I should see polarity change between those two. Can you see that meter on there? Probably not. Must be well I can get this to stay in place, surely. Must be. Right, like that. You can see voltage, great. Well, you'll be able to see if there is one. Let's do it from the other side. Now, let me see if I can see it. seems fine now it's actually behaving I thought it's mentioned it's actually why I'm doing it now this I put it back together it still works I don't know what will happen but I didn't actually fix anything I must have disturbed something what I like about this motor is it uh, comes with this magnetic attachment so if you you know you can hang it on things really well you know and just, as you saw me do I could just hang it on something and it, it stayed in place really strong magnet I really like that so if you ever get an opportunity to get a meter which you got one of these or, or you can buy it as an accessory then I highly suggest you do do that if you do anything away from the bench ever then uh, it's worth getting one of those okay so this is the little diagram I've thrown together just to, to demonstrate what's actually going on there on those switches so this is the switch I was looking at here was the passenger side and it had five terminals not six but I've, I've drawn six here for simplicity um, you understand why in a second and this is the driver's side which will have six terminals effectively but mostly internal right so it's got a whole bunch of control circuitry and stuff in the driver's side so you don't actually see that externally but this is how the switch will function okay so we've got a common zero volt rail here which all the terminals are normally connected to so that motor both terminals you can measure zero volts on the motor both sides and both wires normally all right because in the neutral position these are three position switches so that's neutral, which is you know in the off position. You push it down and push it, pull it up. So in neutral position, you've got zero volts goes through from the driver's side from two relays. It's usually does two separate relays rather than one big one, but um, I've just drawn as a single switch here. Right, it goes through relays from the, from the driver's side. Okay, but obviously on the passenger side it is a switch. We got the common common goes right through both switches to the motor. So both sides of the motor are zero volts. So if you have a common main supply, like you know, a 12 volt supply something, you can tap onto each motor one, and you should be able to see zero volts at both of them if you've got continuity right through, okay? And that's the neutral state. And then you've got a constant 12 volts here as well when the ignition's turned on, for example, so when the window's enabled. That goes to both sides here, and also to the passenger side as well, which is that fifth terminal on that um, switch which I pointed out, which had that 12 volts on it, well, 14 volts in my case, because it's the, bat the engine was running at the time. In here, so I've drawn it as six terminals. Um, there's only actually five, and this one, because this, this link here, which I've got down here, is on the inside of the switch instead. So it's only got one connection on the outside. It's just linked internally. All right. um, so you've got two which pass in, and two that pass out. Now, this is what I was diagnosing, is obviously the switch here. Say, for example, from the driver's side, you want to wind the window up, you pull the switch up, 
this switch will then go to this position here to pull that positive. This switch will go up as well because they're linked together, that's what it means, it's linked. That is still negative, right? Because that's a wiper contact, so it's still negative. So it'll stay negative, doesn't change. So that one goes positive, means you've got positive going through here, wonder motor, and a wonder motor, say that way, for example, right? Say in this case, clockwise. It doesn't really matter, just whatever. Alright, so when you release the switch, it'll go back to neutral position, it gets negative right through again, it's in a neutral state. If you want to wind the window down, you do the opposite. You push it down, this one will stay negative because it's on a wiper. This one here will go to that terminal, come across here to that terminal, which will be 12 volts, which means it will pass 12 volts through here, and wind the motor anti clockwise, for example. All right, so that's how it controls on this side. This is normally two separate relays. Okay. On this switch, it's exactly the same. Then, if you pull it up to wind the window up, it will move the wiper to that side, goes to 12 volts, well, move the arm, the common to that side. Okay, so it runs 12 volts to the motor, we go clockwise. This is on the wiper, same as it was on this one, stays at 0 volts, therefore the motor will operate. If you go down instead, that will, that will wipe on that on there, no difference. This will go to 12 volts, it will go down. Alright, so that's how it's done. So when I, as soon as I saw 12 volts you know, on those connections between, um, well, I think if you measured between this one here, this one here, and that one there, right? Don't forget this is an internal link. You know, because 12 volts between that one, that one, and 12 volts between this one, this one means there's no reason why it shouldn't be working, as long as the motor itself was okay, and the switch itself was switching, which you saw it was switching. I was expecting there to be no zero volt on this side, or that side. Or possibly a 12 volt failure. That's what I was expecting. Um, but obviously, we didn't actually find anything wrong. It just saw, it just started to work whilst we fiddled around with it. So it's probably just a bad connection. It's probably what it was, a bad switch connection or something. And that's you know, that plug I unplugged may have been dirty or a bit crap in there or something. And it's plugging it back in again, got it working again. It may be all that was wrong with it. Um, I did try bashing it previously, but it didn't help. So yeah, anyway. That's how these things work. It's a pretty simple design when you actually understand it. When you can see it here drawn out, you can actually understand how it works. I've repaired this kind of thing numerous times before in New Zealand. Your vehicles tend to go over quite a long time because they don't sort the roads in nice places, so they don't tend to rust out very quickly. So normally it's this side which goes wrong. It's usually the relays in the driver's side panel which fail. So you'll see you get a bad connection on one side, then the motor won't work. You might go up and not down, for example, or vice versa, down not up, which is really bad, <laughs> because they're two separate relays, and if one of them gets bad, it might stay on zero volts, okay, but maybe the 12 volts has arced too much, and it's got dirty, and so it doesn't conduct anymore, too much contact resistance, um, well, it could be the zero volt side, it could be either way, you know, but then it, it might move and wipe a little bit and be okay, but, so usually it's the relays which fail, and the amount of times I've pulled those out and cleaned them, or replaced them, or substituted them with something else, because you know, couldn't get to exactly the right ones, I've done it many times, half a dozen times probably. So that's what I was expecting to find. I hope you found this interesting. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you you know want to see more. Let me know. Comments down below, and uh, click the bell icon if you've not already got that highlighted, so you get notifications of new posts. But I thought I'd just show you this. Have a good one.